Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are here in this place after a very long day going around to visit four or five villages in the middle of this desert in the area which is the province of Dalbandin in Shagi, uh, Baluchistan, uh, Pakistan. My appeal today is when I'm standing in the middle of this desert, which is very difficult to live, very harsh life, impossible sometimes to walk through it. My appeal to the people who invest their money and football players who buy the golden cars, who buy the silver yachts, who buy the planes, private planes and jets and palaces and mansions and villas, who buy football players for two, three hundred million euro, who buy football teams, who buy uh, camels for a few hundred million dirham or real or whatever it is, who waste the money that Allah has given them self, selfishly on things which is very trivial, on things which actually not beneficiary for anybody. This money does not belong to you. This money belongs to Allah and to the people who are living in this area have no water, no food, no shelter, no hope for the future, because they are always looking for something which never come to them. Those people are the people who deserve to have your money. The governments who spend their money on buying arms, and deprive their people from the benefit of the wealth of their own countries. The individual young people and young men and women who stays in front of social media and television for hours and hours and hours and hours, wasting their life, not only their time, because time is a life. Those young men and women, which I'm going to bank on, not going to be interested on those people who spend or waste the multi-million on what I mentioned before. But I'm going to appeal to the young men and women who are living everywhere, anywhere in the world, to try to look at the harsh life of those people here who are suffering from this kind of drought for the last four years, but they're still having the hope that the rain will come down so they can build their own life again and again and again. I'm banking on you, young men and young women, to use your vision, to use your knowledge, to use your uh, power to use your dreams and dream for those people here in this area. You need them more than they need you. When you look at the whole surrounding, here, sand, rocks, stones, dry plants, no trees, no sense of life. But Allah is testing all of us to come here and change this difficult life for people into far more easier life for all of them. So my appeal to all of you, come here and help. Come here and see. Come here and think collectively with them.
to try to make the life difference for them. Money is not the end of the story. Money will come because it's in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm also appealing for those kind of humanitarian or development organization or the, organ the charitable organization who claim that they are doing their best. Their best should be here. Their best should not be only for uh, uh, responding to emergency response only to maintain the operation and the sustainability of the organization. Let us be very honest and come here and make the difference. What I am saying today, I came here for one verse of the Quran. One verse. I don't have the resources like you have. I don't have the power that you have. I don't have the means that what you have. But I have one verse in the Quran. In Surah Ma'un, calling وَلَا يَحُدُّ عَلَى طَعَامٍ مِسْكِينَ Advocacy and spreading the message to respond to the need of the people. I'm here for this verse only. I traveled a thousand and thousand and thousands of miles to witness before the angels surrounding me here and others to apply one sentence even if I don't have the means as you people having the means. The people who do not advocate for the needs of the needy are whom are like the people who are denying the day of judgment. Today I am making the had, raising the issue and try to bring you here, not only here in Balochistan, everywhere and anywhere you would like to go to raise this kind of a verse. وَلَا يَحُدُّ عَلَى طَعَامٍ مِسْكِينٍ أَرَأَيْتَ الَّذِي يُكَذِّبُ بِالدِّينِ فَذَلِكَ الَّذِي يَدُعُ الْيَتِيمِ وَلَا يَحُدُّ عَلَى طَعَامٍ مِسْكِينٍ This verse is the cornerstone of humanitarian advocacy and development work. It's the cornerstone of this. What we need you young men and women, don't be complacent like the people who have the million or the people who are staying on the managing or the management board of organization are trying to make life flowery for you, but it's not flowery anymore. I appeal for you and to you to be different to our generation, to be different to our thinking and teaching and make the difference and make the change and Allah will be with you. See you inshallah other time from another place. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.